Jazz for Moderns. The BBC brings you the best in British modern jazz. And here to introduce the program is Steve Race. Hello there. In today's program, we turn the spotlight on the problem child of jazz, the arranger. Many critical battles range around his head, most of the complaints coming from jazz purists, who claim that music which is by definition improvised can't possibly be thought out and scored in advance by an arranger. If that's your view of jazz, our Jazz for Moderns programme today won't be entirely to your taste, because it features the work of Britain's most dedicated composer-arranger, Kenny Graham. Thank you. 
Long Time No See, the first of five Kenny Graham originals that make up today's programme. The instrumental lineup is something of an arranger's paradise. Four trumpets, four trombones, four French horns and tuba, five saxes, doubling, flutes and so on, and an assortment of rhythm players, varying from the Latin American conga drum to the conventional jazz vibes and piano, or the timpani of the symphony world. Altogether in the studio, there are 24 musicians. In every Kenny Graham score, you'll find a plan, a sort of basic theme or blueprint out of which the whole structure is built. The old complaint about music that merely starts and goes on and then stops could hardly be levelled at a Kenny Graham score. There's always a plan, and there's always plenty of individual freedom too, as in this jazz waltz, Blues for Blokes. <laughs> Thank you. 
finish, Kenny. Blues for Blokes, originally commissioned for an American recording date in which Kenny Graham compositions were played by a group of Duke Ellington men under the leadership of Harry Carney, that veteran of all the Duke's campaigns. Kenny dedicates this next score to the memory of a friend, David Poltengi, ballet dancer, choreographer, film director, in fact, a well-known figure to all of us in the London art world. The title is Adagio for David, and featured is the baritone saxophone of Joe Tempoli. Listening to Jazz for Moderns, presenting the big band concepts of British jazz composer Kenny Graham. The word rock has become musically rather suspect in recent years, but as a word, it had a jazz ancestry. We won't go into the question of its earliest origins. Let's just say that when Kenny Graham titles one of his scores Rock Me Gently, 
he doesn't have rock and roll in mind, simply an easy jazz beat. Featured soloists, Tony Coe on clarinet, Shake Keen on flugelhorn, Danny Moss on tenor sax. Right, Kenny, rock me gently. that surely could become a new jazz standard. Kenny Graham's Rock Me Gently. It's always a safe bet that a jazz critic will be writing a novel in his spare time. In fact, if you go up to any jazz writer and say, how's the novel coming along? He won't say, what novel? He'll just reply, terrible man. It's rather the same with jazz arrangers and composers. They're all writing musicals, or in the more ambitious cases, operas. Kenny Graham calls his a music drama, and he wrote it in collaboration with librettist Colin McInnes. 
Hence the dedication in this next jazz original, Mr. Collins. <laughs>
I said earlier, a sense of shape and design, but plenty of freedom for individuals. Hope you enjoyed that stentorian bout of Afro-Cubism. All the music heard in today's Jazz for Moderns was composed, arranged and conducted by Kenny Graham. And now from London, we wish you the best of everything and especially good listening till we meet again. Goodbye. Jazz for Moderns was introduced by Steve Race and produced for the BBC by Terry Hannabury. Thank you.